In this video, I'm going to review the procedure for valve body replacement as well as fluid filling for the Mercedes-Benz 725 9-speed transmission. You will need an ultrasonic fluid measuring tool, fluid filling pump, assorted transmission specialty tools, and your eye scan device to perform this procedure. Remember to always use Mercedes-Benz approved fluids and to check with the latest repair information for the vehicle you're working on. This procedure has been updated a few times and fluid types, temperatures, and steps may be changed by the manufacturer. When working with transmission fluid levels, warm the transmission fluid to the recommended temperature for the vehicle you're working on. For example, our subject vehicle, a 2023 GLC, requires a temperature between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius before your initial measurement. Other models may vary. Because of the ultrasonic tool, the measurement can take place in a much wider range when compared to the overflow method. On this transmission, you can also use the overflow method in a much more narrow temperature range. The measurement should be performed with the engine at idle and the transmission in park. In this example, we are working on a 2023 GLC W254. Be careful not to let the vehicle reach operating temperature. Fluid level measurement is dependent on the correct fluid temperature. Be sure the transmission is full when the initial measurement takes place. With the underbody panels removed, locate the fluid measurement bore and thoroughly clean it. Thoroughly clean the transmission pan and surrounding area. Apply couplet grease to the tip of your measurement tool and calibrate it. Install the measurement tool into the transmission pan. Rotate it clockwise to lock it in place. Note fluid level. In our example, we have 77 millimeters of fluid at 40 degrees Celsius. When measuring the level using the ultrasonic tool, be sure not to let the temperature increase too much as the measurement value will change. This also applies during the filling procedure. Working at the wiring harness mounting bracket at the front right of the transmission pan, remove the Torx fastener. Then, pull the bracket down and move it aside. Remove the transmission service plug using the Mercedes-Benz Special Tool. There are four transmission service hole positions. Position one, oil in. Use this position when filling the transmission fluid. The overflow pipe is in the maximum length. Position two, drain. Use this position to drain small amounts of fluid after filling to correct the level. Position three, justify. This position is used when an ultrasonic tool is not available to set the transmission fluid level. This sets to a specific fill level at a specific fluid temperature. Position four, oil out. Use this position to drain the transmission fluid. Next, insert Mercedes-Benz special tool into the transmission pan and move to position four to drain the fluid. Be prepared to catch draining fluid in a suitable container with a 10 quart capacity. Measure and note the amount of fluid drained. Reinstall service plug when fluid is done draining. Remove the 11 E10 Torx fasteners from the transmission drain pan. Support the pan when removing the final two fasteners. The transmission pan has integrated non-serviceable filters. Each time the pan is removed, we recommend replacing it. Lower and remove the transmission pan. Working at the right side of the transmission, above the exhaust, rotate to unlock and remove the valve body electrical connector. Remove the light colored T30 fasteners from the valve body. These are single use aluminum fasteners and are replaced each time they are removed. Support the valve body when removing the final two fasteners. Lower and remove the valve body. Remove the fluid tubes from the transmission.
Location of the fluid tubes shown on valve body. Inspect the tubes and seals, replace if necessary. Install fluid tubes in the transmission bores. Align and install the valve body. Install all fasteners finger tight. Lightly tighten all fasteners in an alternating crisscross pattern. Torque valve body fasteners in an alternating crisscross pattern. Then finishing with an additional 90 degrees. Before installing new transmission pan, be sure to install the ultrasonic tube. The arrow on the tube should point towards the side of the pan as shown. Next, install the service hole fluid tube. The arrows inside the tube should line up. Snap the tube into place. Align and install transmission pan. Install all fasteners finger tight. Lightly tighten all fasteners in an alternating crisscross pattern. Torque transmission pan fasteners in an alternating crisscross pattern. Then finishing with an additional 90 degrees. Add the same amount of fluid you drain plus a half a liter to the filling tool. Normally this is about four and a half to five and a half liters of fluid. Set your filling tool pressure to no higher than two bar. Install filling adapter to the transmission pan. Attach fluid fill line to the adapter. Mercedes-Benz recommends no more than two bar filling pressure. Fill transmission fluid while monitoring fluid level using ultrasonic tool. Idle vehicle until transmission fluid temperature reaches 40 degrees Celsius. Vehicles with transmission coolers require a higher temperature to open the thermostat. Check with repair information for the vehicle you are working on. Recheck and adjust fluid level to match initial reading. In our example, we slightly overfilled the fluid and have to drain a little to match our initial measurement. If fluid level is too high, move surface hole to position two to adjust level by draining the fluid. Once fluid level matches the initial measurement, move service hole to position one. When measuring the level using the ultrasonic tool, be sure not to let the temperature increase too much as the measurement value will change. Install service hole plug and reassemble underbody panels. Once complete, contact your SOD provider for valve body programming. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos for more helpful Mercedes-Benz procedures.